Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is actually like 1 a.m. But um, we've been up watching 13 Reasons Why. I'm not feeling too good. Um, Kirk was sick in the last vlog, and now I'm sick. So, but, and I just edited the vlog, and I started um, scheduling it, and I realized while I was doing that, I introduced my purple hair, um, and I never told you guys what I used or anything, so... I wanted to dedicate a little part of this vlog for that purpose. So um, I just got out of the shower, so it's like a little damp, um, but I didn't wash my hair. Um, okay, so first off, this is not the color I wanted. I'm sorry if I'm looking at my phone, and sorry if you hear all the fans in the background, but it's literally 78 degrees and we don't have the AC on so it's very hot so I'll show you what the purple is that I want I really wanted kind of like this type of look and um, like that something like that but um, obviously I did not accomplish it but I, I still like it because it's purple in the light, so. <sighs> but I wanted to tell you guys what I got. Um, the lady said you can use this on dark hair. That is why I bought it. Um, sorry, I'm unwrapping this ice pack to put on our pillows because that's how hot it is. We use ice packs before we go to bed. Um, but, um, what I was saying, though, is that, um, I went to Sally's and the lady said, yeah, you can use it on dark hair, um, and I was like, okay, that's awesome, okay, cool, um, I do agree, you could use this on dark hair, but if you want bright purple, this ain't, this ain't the look. Um, they have other shades in this brand too. So, let me show you. So, this is the brand. Um, I got I Irio. I don't even know how to freaking say it. And it's in the shade purple. Um, this is a 100% vegan and cruelty-free, um, coconut oil. It's really good I read the directions I did everything that you're supposed to um, so let's get into that so um, I put it on and you it recommends 30 minutes or more so you know I did that you don't add any developer to it so it's really really awesome because it's like, I think I spent $11.99, $10.99, something like that at Sally's on this. Um, that's why I don't go get it professionally done because it is expensive and I know how to do hair. Um, but, so like I said, I used it. It came out way darker than I want. Maybe after I wash it one more time it will give me like a nice look I'm hoping but I'm not really hopeful but we'll see and I'll update you guys um I do think it's really awesome though that it is like vegan and cruelty free I think that's awesome um it smells like freaking Jolly Rancher grapes love that so but yeah that's my only downfall with it it's just not what I thought it was going to be. The lady at Sally's amped it up to be 
something awesome and it it does seem awesome but I wish I would have known to like bleach my hair maybe before it because she did um, show me another brand like Arctic Fox or something like that and she said you'd have to probably bleach it and I was like oh okay but she said this brand it will come out very very bright and yeah. later in the day it is like eight something and Mr. Kirk hmm. is home playing hmm. what it what do you play? Oh the strolls online. So I'm letting him play. <laughs> letting me. I was just goofy and not letting you play. But he's playing you Gotta get your ladies in line, fellas. I love you, baby girl. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Yes. So um while he's playing that, I have some junk that I need to go through. And I've been needing to do this for quite some time. So I've never like done like a house tour or like a room tour. I have got like a few um, people saying like room tour and I'm like, it's literally a bed in his PlayStation. It's not really that fun looking, but um, that's our bathroom and then that's our room. But we also got this and you like open it and it's like a cupboard and then two drawers and then a laundry chute. Yes, we use that laundry chute. <laughs> Kirk, do we use the laundry chute? Oh, a lot. <laughs> what do we do? Uh, I stand at the bottom and she just hands closed down to me. And it's so awesome. It works. It's... Instead of me lugging a hamper down the stairs full of clothes. Yeah, it, it's so funny. But okay, so I have an update. So my surgery. It's no longer in September. <sighs> oh, yay. It is October 4th. It's only an extra week that I gotta wait though, so it's fine. But um, I still wanna be as prepared as I can. So this cupboard, this is what it looks like inside. Um, we keep like extra blankets, sheets, stuff like that. Then <laughs> this shelf, I don't know. I don't know, it just needs a lot of maintenance though. And then towels, once again, why are we so lazy and don't fold? I don't know. And then just a lot of junk that like I've never gone through until today. We're gonna go through it. But first I just figured I might need a chair or something. So let's grab that. So. I've been wanting to do this now for quite some time. I'm not going to do all of it for the simple fact of I don't I don't want to spend my whole night doing this. Um, Kirk said he'll be playing for like a little bit. So I think what we're going to do first is try and clean this little drawer, this, this part out first. So, oh yeah, and then... Yeah. I got like this filled with like a heating pad and just lots of nail polishes in the back and then like Kirk's like trimmers and then this drawer I have so much like extra like um what's that called shampoos um just like stuff like this um hair stuff everything like that I have in that drawer so yeah I think that's where we're gonna put most of this stuff <sighs> oh wait, and then up there I have that pink bin and then in in the behind it I have more and all that stuff is recovery stuff so I, I don't know what I got myself into why am I doing this again I don't know so I just cleaned out the bottom. Um, most of the stuff just came right into here because most of it went in here. Because in all honesty, although I think I might keep this out, like in here, I don't know, this is my problem. If it's in a drawer, I feel like I'll forget about it. 
Anyone else like that? Because I am. Kirk, if I had something in a drawer, do you, do you think I'd forget about it? Oh, by the way, guys, don't mind the non-made bed. Who makes their bed? Quite a few people do, though. Um, but that's my problem. Like, I just, I don't know. And I feel like there's so much more light when I do it like this. But other than that, but okay, beyond the point. So, but I think I'm actually going to keep this. I don't know where, Ugh, because I think. Up here, I always have extra flashlights. Never know when power is going to go out. So, okay. Let's bring this down. Tissues can stay up here for now. Oh yeah, my shampoo and conditioner. Um, oh, my hair dye, in case I want to redo it the same color. I've got some more garbage bags. Some more. That's random bags. These for after surgery. Oh, I have so much junk. Keep it like this up here. That'd be awesome. And then, oh man, now we're back to a mess on this shelf. I'm gonna work my magic and see what I end up doing with all this fun stuff. Okay guys, so I got distracted by painting my nails, but I wanted to show you the aftermath. Now keep that on, because uh, I need Sorry, I just got done dropping the kids off at the pool. What? I just got done dropping the kids off at the pool. Oh my gosh. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like now. So down here is all the stuff for surgery. I have, I've talked about these before. They're body cleansing wipes. I have seven boxes of them and they're 17 in a pack. So yeah, I have a lot. Um, and then up here I have like my, yeah, I use kids freaking detangler because my hair gets so freaking bad. And this, it's actually a nice, um, cheaper shampoo and conditioner I use. I know it's not the best, but it does really work on my hair. And I got extra deodorants, and then I got a few Bath and Body Works stuff. Perfume. This, and then um, extra scrunchies with hair stuff down there. So, I think I did good with organizing it. It's just Boarding those neatly, and then, like I said, are you eating one of my croissants? No, I'm not eating one of your croissants. <laughs> and like I said, that's all surgery stuff. So I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm Kirk. Oh really? Yeah. Tell us more about you, Kirk. Um. I don't know. So now we're gonna find a show on Netflix? Comment down below what's a good show to watch on Netflix. Um. Oh, hold on, we're not done over here. Yeah, I know. I still gotta do the cleaning. Shit. Um, but comment down below what is a good show to watch on Netflix? Um, we just got done with 13 Reasons Why, so we need a new show. Yeah, I know, it's gotta top that. I know, that show was a roller coaster. So, and I got some croissants. Oh, I love these as a little snack. That and GoPro probably picked up nothing but the fan going. I'll tell you what, these things, GoPros, they pick up every little noise. I know. There's actually a little camera. I forgot what it's called. But if you watch Learning to Be Fearless, she just uploaded a house tour. And she had like the cutest little camera ever. It's kind of like a GoPro. I want it. Okay guys, but I'll catch up with you all tomorrow. Um, because we're gonna watch something on Netflix. Okay guys, so it is the next day. So, um, Kirk came home from work. He like came home, um, almost like an hour 
and a half early but he stopped at Dollar Tree and look what he got he got a Halloween decoration I'm so freaking excited um, I'm probably gonna make like a nail up there to hang it oh my gosh um, he's so cute so we've been talking about Halloween and um, so I guess he stopped at Dollar Tree and got that and then he brought me home Starburst and uh, a mom such a sweetheart so um I think I'm gonna go get a hammer and nail and hang this up because I mean it is spooky scary time finally so well I guess we still have two days actually tomorrow we're going to Waldemir and it's the 31st tomorrow, then the 1st, then the 2nd, and then no more Waldemir. And that's when I bring out, Wal bring out Halloween stuff. So I'm super excited. And, um, so yeah. And then in a week we're going on a date, and then a Walmart trip, and then actually Kirk is going to be getting his wisdom teeth out. So that's gonna be fun that's like two weeks away one week away something like that um and then we're going to another concert we're going to another chris higby concert well hopefully but and then it's gonna be surgery for me so i am trying to get the most out of all of this and but yeah i thought that was really cute and clever of him picking up something um and then we're going to um clean and just like make it like halloween-ish in this room so i'm really excited it's our first halloween at this house so but i don't know where i'm gonna hang it okay so i put up the pumpkin decoration we need to find more halloween decorations but that's what we got for now and then i put that mirror up finally and then i put up the other one in the bathroom but so i'm gonna come flip flop so because in case i go outside but so um i'm going to be going to get my permits here fairly soon and um, I needed a certain paper to be able to get it. Well, um, it was in with our wedding stuff. And oh my gosh, we found so much of our wedding stuff today. It is crazy. So I thought I would show you guys some wedding stuff that I found. Um, so this was our card box. And now it's like... Um, store and just like miscellaneous little things so I thought I'd show you guys um so you open it up oh my gosh okay so we have a big giant like a bag full full hold on let's just show you of cards from the wedding um yeah, I like cannot get over on how many cards we got. Um, pretty crazy. Um, I watch Karen and Qua and she did something to the cards, which I think I want to do too. I just don't know what she did, but it would be really cool to um, look into. She did to her wedding cards. But then, oh my gosh, so then this folder, I opened it and it has like Kirk's vows um, and I was reading them and I about cried like a little baby. My vows, it is like so crazy. Um, we're coming up on our 11 months being married and then our 12 months, I'll be like two days past, um, what's that called? past uh surgery so i can't really do anything after that so um this month though we're going to go celebrate our one year together um we got our 
guest book. Oh my gosh. And um, we got Mrs. And I know we have a Mr. in here that was on the cake table. Our little cake cutter thing. Um, our unity candle that my parents got us. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see this. Our cake topper, Mr. and Mrs. It is like so crazy of everything that we found. I was like, it's crazy. Um, and then Kirk's groom to be sash that he wore on the wedding day. Um, it's just so crazy everything that I found. And then the other thing we found was our favors because we kept quite a bit of them. Um, but this is what our favors were. I like cannot get over like it was almost a year ago. But um, we did jelly beans in a bag and we always say don't be jelly of our love. So um, that was on a piece of paper. Don't be jelly. Love Samantha and Kirk. I think that like added such like uniqueness to it. Um, it added who we are to the favors. So the only thing I wish we would have done with the favors is we put them in a bowl with a sign that says don't be jelly. I wish we would have just put them on tables. But either way, I think they're really cute. Um, <laughs> they were a hit. So yeah, that's like everything that I have in this bin. Um, I think one of these days we should go through all the wedding stuff. <laughs> that's like still a lot of stuff that we have to go through though. <laughs> because we had all that stuff and then everything. Oh my gosh, just thinking of everything that we had and everything. Like it's all stored in the basement and yeah. So. This nail is really messed up, so don't mind that. But Kirk is outside grilling like he always does. I swear, he loves grilling food. So um, he's out grilling, and I'm in here doing that. But I think I'm going to be a nice wife, and I think I'm going to find him a beer because um, he always wants beer. So why not? grab him one let's see if he got one update i can't be a nice wife because he already drank his six pack hey bush is not a bad beer but it's not something i'd want for a family event or something i would pick off the shelf if i had a choice okay well like today i was about to be a nice wife and bring you out a beer okay i have a bottle of whiskey in the freaking room that's been an amazing wife <laughs> Oh my gosh. Man, you understand me, right? Right, guys? Okay, so I guess I'm going to have my own beer. Oh, you got two? Can I have one? No. So, um, but yeah, so me, comment down below. Do you think that'd be fun going through all of our wedding stuff? That's going, oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's going to be a lot. Not only did I bring you home the chocolate you requested, I even added a box of Starburst. <laughs> But anyways, um, yeah, comment down below if you think that'd be a cool video. I'm currently packing for Waldemere. Um, I guess we're going tomorrow. What is this on my leg? I have like sparkles on my leg. What the? But I'm wearing my newer bathing suit. These bottom, okay. First off, I'm gonna link down this bathing suit. It's so freaking cute. Um, it's like a crop top almost. I love it because I don't like to show too much skin, but it shows just enough and it's really cute. Oh, I thought that was about to fall. Okay, but anyways, these bottoms, they're so freaking high because I like high rise bottoms because yeah, it's just in nowadays, I think. But these come above your freaking belly and I love them. They are so comfy and they're so flattering even though they're stripes. Most times people say stay away from stripes if you're plus size. But these stripes like really look cute. So I'm going to wear those tomorrow.